Hey, so today I'm gonna do this week budget and stuff like that. As you can probably tell, um, I didn't space these out quite right, but that's besides the point. What I'm actually talking about here is this one down here. Um, we've added in a new section and we've taken a couple away. So yeah, I'll just hop right in and I'll explain as I go why I'm changing certain things and how I'm planning to change them. So first is obviously rent. Rent is the same as it always is, which is 50 euro a week. My phone bill is five euro. So those two have to be paid um, monthly and they're the important bills and the rest are all just sinking funds. So my five euro savings gets five euro. And um, up here, if you can see last week, Christmas and birthdays got 10 euro. We traveled this week due to the fact that we don't have many birthdays left. I think I said last week we had three. I actually have four because I've got my best friend's birthday as well and that's in August. So I want to get her something small. But, um, so four birthdays left for the end of the year which isn't too bad. So for Christmas then I'm going to put in 15 as Christmas is sneaking up on us really fast and then birthdays is going to get five euro. Um, Matthew's birthday is getting five euro still. Holiday is getting five. Spending is getting 10 and then car. So last week I had gym at 6.50 and then I had savings plan at 6. So that together gives me 12.50. So I'm gonna now put 12.50 into car a week. Um, the gym fund will also, whatever's in that envelope will be going into the car envelope now and whatever's left or whatever was in savings plan will go into car as well i'm determined to get my car so yeah i'm booking my theory test this week so fingers crossed all of that goes to plan and then yeah so i'll do the breakdown super quick again my total is 112.70 that's what i get every single week 50 10 5 and 2 50 20 So 50s I've got 150 I've got 1 2 3 tens 1 2 3 4 5 6 fives 1 2 150 and 120 Oh, it's actually the same breakdown as last week. So yeah, that's my breakdown, and that's one twelve seventy. So just go get that money out, and we'll be back and we'll stuff these envelopes. Okay, so I just got back. Um, firstly, is the twenty cent that goes straight into that box, and it's just left there. So we have one bill. This is fully funded actually from last week. We'll add five into that and five, ten, four, ten, twenty-five. Like I said last week, my phone bill is only twenty euro, so I'm technically five euro ahead, which is handy. So that's that one done. Next is rent. There's only fifty in there from last week. 50, 100. Next is birthdays of you this month. Yeah. So, I got birthdays. Like I said, I'm only putting 5 euro towards birthdays this paycheck. So, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. So where was I? This envelope here. So this is Christmas. And 
we have 25 in this I had to take we bought my little brother a couple of presents online so I had to take 25 out of this to pay my boyfriend back half of that money so yeah so there's 25 in here and then I'm gonna add 15 too many fives so we then have 10 20 25 40 35 40 40 euro in this one Um, next envelope is Matthew's birthday. There is 20 euro in this at the minute. 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. <laughs> In this one, we have five euro savings. I do. I did make labels for all these. I just haven't stuck them on yet, so I need to do that. Although by the time I stick them on, I'm gonna know what they all are. Oh. So add five euro, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I hate when money looks like this. It annoys me so much. I like the clean money. Um, this one here. Oh, this is dog's emergency. I've got a little emergency room for the dogs in case something was to happen and I was on my own with the dogs and the dogs needed to get brought to the vet right now or I don't know if there was ever an accident or something. Just so that I've got a little bit of money there. So this envelope. <laughs> this is the car envelope. Um, I haven't put money into this for a while. I say that, but last week I was doing some stuff, had some extra money, and I put that into this straight away. So there is a little bit of money in this. It's not a huge amount, but yeah. So this week, this is getting twelve fifty added to it, which is here. Plus. It's getting this fund added to it. This is the my old gym fund. But like I said at the start of the video, I'm not going back to the gym. So what's the point in me keeping this fund going when I know I'm not gonna do it? So so this one here can go up there for now. This can go over beside it and this. So in this at the moment there is 110, 20, 20. 40, 45, 50, there's 150 euro on it and that's from, some of that money's from my birthday and then the rest of it was added in by me um, within the last week or so plus then in this fund here there is a 131.50 if you can see that so 20, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 80, 90, 1, 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then the new 50s back here. So, we're going to do this one plus this one. I am weird, I like all my notes to face the same direction. In this, actually, I'll add in. So I'm gonna add in the 10 euro as well from today. So 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So we have 2, 90.
I was just sitting on my bed or whatever and I just realized I never added this money into the car envelope so I'm just quickly gonna do that. I just didn't want to do it off count 15 euro in this which means that this is actually a total of I just wanted to come on really quickly and explain that and yeah okay so i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave me some comments down below and let me know how you budget how you plan your kind of daily or weekly money weekly fortnightly monthly whatever it is and yeah really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next week for another video bye